coming off of Ramona Park, you said in the tweet that Vince Staples, that a lot of people were criticizing you for that project. Like it said, it didn't sound like you. Like, and you just trying to make sense of it. Do you remember that? I wasn't even trying to make sense of it. I just think people are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like, people are stupid because it's like, oh man, that's not you. Like, you know me, nigga? Like, no? Mm -hmm. All right, then shut the fuck up. Do you feel like you're unfairly criticized for that project? I don't care. Mm. I never care. I don't, like you said, I don't care. If I'm not, if I'm impartial, if people like it, I'm for sure impartial. If you don't like it, I feel like everybody's inside to their opinion. You know, once you put something out in the universe, like, you selling something, it's, it's okay for people to say if they like it or they don't like it. Like, that's not really why I make music. Like, I don't care how nobody feel about nothing, to be 100% yeah. honest. I appreciate them listening. And that's as far as it go, like, how people yeah. feel. I don't care about none of that, bro. I'm not money. I live in a regular, like, townhouse. Mm. You feel me? I got to, I drive that Acura every day or <laughs> I drive that Tesla. Like, I don't care about stuff like that. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm pretty right. basic. Because, like, on, on the blues, you said your uh, money makes you numb, right? So why are you so apathetic to, like money and the trappings of i just never had it mm. and making more money didn't help me with nothing changing my perspective on how i view things in life changed everything mm. like it ain't no amount that you can put on somebody being a better person or like learning more about life so money gives you what you appreciate gives you access and space to not be stressed and then you're able to think to have that space to process what's in your mind and you know Ask yourself how you feel. What do you want to do? And people are like, oh, man, what do you like to do? I'm like, I ain't never done nothing but like a couple of things in my life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, don't nobody like to do that. It's just mm -hmm. that's what we do. But um, some people like to do it. But that's what you do. Like, it is what it is. But I ain't never had no hobby. Like, yeah, hobbies, cost, hobbies cost money. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, and if you grow up without no money, like, what you, you know what I mean? My mama ain't taking me to, like, the theme park. You know, Ramona I, Park. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? And that's, my mom ain't taking me there. I'm, my, we play baseball at Cherry Park. We walked around the park because yeah. one of my friends lived there. I didn't even know the hood was there when I first started going over there. Mm. But it's like, you know what I mean? That's how it That's how it happened. Even, and you realize where you live at when you get older. But when you a kid, you don't know that stuff. Man, it's just you just where you at because of your surroundings. Like, I grew up taking a bus. Like, that's how I learned how to speak to people. Mm. Taking a bus and getting kicked out of schools and having to go to school with Long Beach is diverse. So having to go to school with white people, Asian people. Uh, going to school with Samoans, going to school with Mexicans, going to school with black people. I've had to learn how to speak to different people and mm. not offend nobody. You know right. what I mean? It's interesting, like your worldview, because even like on the blues, you have a lyric where you talk about success. And I was wondering, do you think success really does bring guilt and stress? Yeah, for a lot of people, yeah. For you, it does? I don't care about success. Oh, right. You know, like, that's what I mean. I, and of course, I, I do think it's true, but like, what is success? Like, you know, what is success? I guess it's relative depending on who. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, but success in the worldview to me is like overachieving like to be successful you have to overachieve like i don't know if the world typically looks at the person who has a good job is successful like, i don't know if we're looking at the mailman the trash man construction workers plumbers you know a plumber can make a hundred thousand dollars a year you, you know and, and upwards but i don't know if we necessarily look at them as successful like from our worldview like the scope of how we view the world so mm. that's kind of what i'm saying about we don't know you can kind of pick your own shit is basically what i'm saying yeah so it's like, why would I, like, oh man, you don't want this award or that award or this acknowledgement? Like, no, because <laughs> it don't affect my day-to-day -day life. Like my mama had to make me hang my plaques up in the house. Really? Them shits was on the ground next to where the dogs sleep. So what's validation look my, like for I Vince? I got them as gifts. <laughs> I got to buy them shits, you know what I mean? So what's, what, what does validation look like to Vince Staples then? They don't know you got to buy plaques. Yeah, like, they do. You have to buy them, Vince. Vince. Tell them, break like, it down. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> you, can get, you can get anything on a plaque. You just got to pay for it. But, um. <laughs> but uh, validation, I don't know, man. Just you know, being able to have um, you know, peace of mind, knowing who you are, knowing kind of where you want to go next. It's all personal stuff, man. It's for anybody. Like anybody can pick their own. You can pick mm. what you want, what you don't want, what you like, what you don't like. And for me, I think you know, just having uh, uh being comfortable, you know, um, peace, being able to make decisions. You know, I'm I'm little stuff, bro. Like I get to go to the grocery store, and I don't gotta be like, oh, how much? You know what I mean? I ain't mm. know how to drive till I was. In my 20s, I didn't have a bank account until I was 20s. Like, I used to, mm. of course, have to bring me $5 to go get food when I was 19 years old. Mm. You know what I mean? It's either that or go back to the hood. You know, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a different, I have a different upbringing than, I guess, a lot of people that you would put me in the box with. So I don't have that kind of value system, mm. to be honest. Like, I've never, I've never seen an award show. I seen a BT awards at my auntie house when I was a little kid. You see Mary J. Blige and shit like that. But those ain't the awards that people care about. Mm. I already got one of them and I'm grateful for it. So what else do the fuck I need? A Grammy would be nice because I think it would elevate your profile and put you in different places and spaces. Where are those places though? You know, um, in middle America. 
We already there. We got an accurate commercial. <laughs> <laughs> you get what you get. What I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Like, if right. you really want to say that, like, we just we got what what do we need? Maybe plant plant your flag more in that space. I guess. Like household more. names. You know, we we say the Drakes. We say the Jay Zs. We could say Vince Staples. I think. And then what? And then what? You you continue to get more, get more out of it. More out of what? <laughs> more out of success, more out of so uh, looks. Does, so when you speak with Corey, do you guys have these kind of conversations? Does he? Does he? We ever spoke about a Grammy? To challenge you or? No. <laughs> That's crazy. Have I ever told you I wanted anything? <laughs> I would like to see you with the Grammy though. I, I, my thing is anything that someone gives me because of my music, I appreciate it. But what I'm saying is, if I go back to my neighborhood and say, "Hey, look, I got a Grammy," mm -hmm. they not gonna care. Yeah. Mm. If I'm like, "Oh, look, hey," I remember when I first got my car, like just a car, and my homies was happy for me. Yeah, you know how to park it? <laughs> I swear mm -hmm. to God, you, you know the parking brake? We on we we on we on Plymouth in the middle of the hood, in the middle of a beef. Somebody just died down the street, and my homies are teaching me how to parallel park. Because mm. I got a car and I was a dude that walked down the street and had a car, cash, he's going to park my car and, and T-Scribe watching the street right before he died. Mm. If I show up with a Grammy, they're going to be like, that's what's up. They're not going to care because what do that mean? Mm. Like, you know what I mean? I don't mean saying that the Grammy doesn't mean anything in the right. grand scheme. I'm talking about when I go home, that don't mean nothing where I come from. And we all say we come from these places, but we don't want the values that come from these places. Mm -hmm. You got what I'm saying? We mm -hmm. want we want to go be with the, the, them people. Validation from others From them people Yeah You know what I mean yeah. And that's all I'm saying Like How long we've been talking about uh, Niggas not going to the BT Awards What is we talking about <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying Like We can all pretend That that's not a thing But I ain't gonna pretend I, don't, I ain't worried about What nobody gotta say about that Cause when I go home Where I stay Where I'm always at mm. That they just happy That I'm doing okay Because right. of what I was doing before mm. And if that's not enough I don't know what to tell nobody You must not be okay with yourself 